So let's say I wanted to sort these six numbers into descending order using a shuttle sort. So the first thing I'd want to do is look at the first two numbers in the list. They are already in descending order. And so one comparison has been made in the first pass. 8, 2, 1, 5, 9, 7 is the order of my list. So in the first pass, we made one comparison. Right, then we bring in the next number in the list, 1. One's going to get compared with 2, but because they're already in the correct order, because they're in descending order, that means no swap is necessary. So in the second pass, we made one comparison. One got compared with 2. So we have 8, 2, 1, 5, 9, 7. So we bring in the next number, 5. Now, 5 is going to get compared with 1. They're not in the correct order, so they will swap. Then 5 will get compared with 2. They're not in the correct order, so they will swap. Then 5 is going to get compared with 8. They are in the correct order, so no swap. So 8, 5, 2, 1, 9, 7 is the current list. And in that third pass, I made 1, 2, 3 comparisons. Then we bring 9 into the mix. So 9 is going to get compared with 1. They will swap. Then with 2, they will swap. Then with 5, they will swap. Then we'll, with 8, they will swap. So 9, 8, 5, 2, 1. 9 gets shuttled into the correct position. And on that fourth pass, I made 1, 2, 3, 4 comparisons. Then finally, we bring 7 into the mix. So 7 needs to be compared with 1, they will swap. Then with 2, they will swap. Then with 5, they will swap. Then with 8, they won't swap. OK, so we'll have 9, 8, 7, 5, 2, 1. The 7 was compared with 1, so 1, then 2, then 5, then 8. So there were four comparisons made on the fifth pass. And that is how we can sort these six numbers into descending order using a shuttle sort.